Froggy Plays in a Band by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkwitz. At school one day, Froggy read a sign. It said, Marching Band Contest, Big Prize. Great, said Froggy, a band contest. He flopped over to see Miss Martin, the music teacher. Flop, flop, flop. What's the big prize, asked Froggy. It's a surprise, she said. If you and your friends start a marching band and compete against other schools in the Bl Apple Blossom Parade, you can win the prize. What will I play, wondered Froggy. Then he remembered his dad's old sax. And after school, he flopped up to the attic, flop, 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 and started blowing his dad's horn. Honk, bleep, screech. Froggy, called his dad. What? Quiet, please. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone, too, cried Froggy. The saxophone, honk. Next day, Froggy got his band together, and they practiced in, the in his yard. Max on drums, kaboom. Leah on triangle, tingling. Emma on recorder, tingling. And Hannah, her twin, on cymbals, clash. I want to join too, said Frogalina. What do you play? asked Froggy. Nothing, she said, but I can do this. And she twirled a baton, tossed it high into the air, and caught it behind her back. Ta-da! Every day after school, Froggy's ragtag band marched around and around the playground. Honk, kaboom, tingling, tweedledee, clash. And every day, Miss Martin told them the rules for marching. Don't look left, don't look right, and stop, and don't stop for anything. What if we have to go to the bathroom, asked Froggy. Don't stop for anything, commanded Miss Martin, or everybody behind you will crash into you. Three weeks left, two weeks, one. Froggy practiced marching everywhere, even in his sleep. At last, the big day came. The apple trees had burst into bloom and the parade was ready to begin. Everybody was nervous, especially Froggy. Mrs. Martin said, now remember, don't look left, don't look right, and don't stop for anything. And the parade began. Being the youngest, Froggy's band marched in front, led by the majorette, the one and only Frogalina. Froggy, called his father. He was jumping up and down on the sidelines, but Froggy didn't look. Froggy, called his mother. She was aiming a camera. But Froggy didn't look. Cameras flashed, clowns threw candy, and Froggy, and still Froggy marched, looking straight ahead. Here came the judge's stand. This was the big moment. Froggelina twirled her baton. She tossed it high into the air. And Froggy thought, don't look left, don't look right, and... Bonk! Her baton hit him on the head and knocked him down. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Oof, clang, crash, and the rest of the parade piled on. Froggy! called Miss Martin. What? came a muffled cry. Are you all right? Froggy crawled out from the bottom of the heap and said, don't stop for anything, and started to wail a wild swamp tune on his saxophone. The rest of his band joined in and everybody danced in the street. And when the judges votes came in, Froggy's ragtag band had won a special award coolest marching band at the Apple Blossom Parade. What's the big prize, asked Froggy. This is, said Frogalina, and she gave him a big juicy kiss on smack on his cheek. Eee! 
week. Then the judges gave Froggy and his band the real prize, a big golden trophy in the shape of a saxophone. Yes, cried Froggy, and Froggy's ragtag band played one more time. Honk, kaboom, tingling, tingle clash. The end.